Hey guys, what's up? Uh, let's go into more Gamatria, of course. Um, first off, I just noticed today something interesting um, from Carl Monk's website. Um, but right here, you have the 360 degree circle, and then you have 180, which is directly across 360, and then 144, and 108, and 72. If you notice, these are all either biblical or processional numbers. Um, you even have 153 as the midpoint between 144 and 162. <clears throat> and 162 is actually equal to Benjamin, which is my name, Benjamin, in um, Hebrew. Um, but anyway, um, 153 is the fish, 144 is the elect, 72 is the amount of years in procession. Um, you know, 216 um, is everywhere in Gematria. But anyway, that was just one thing. Let's move on to something else. I looked up the um, all the verses in the Bible with sum of a thousand. A thousand, if you look up um, the literal meaning for the word Aleph, it means God and a thousand. So a thousand means God. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. Psalm 30, 80. Unto thee, O my strength, will I sing, for God is my defense and the God of my mercy. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. And then the same two verses later. So only, only in the book of Psalms do you find... Um, a verse that is equal to a thousand, and it's all talking about God. Notice none of them are talking about, you know, Rachel hanging out with, you know, Benjamin, her son, or something like that. Then I did 7777. It said, um, Peter answered unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. And the Jews murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from the heaven. Um, so speak ye, and so do as the, they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. Um, sevens, the four, seven means to be baptized, like to be sevened, as Jim Brown would put it. Seven is always about repentance, and 888 is Jesus, which is perfection. Um, us as sinners, we have to go through the seven, so we have to be judged by the law of liberty, i.e. grace. Um, but anyway, let's skip to something super interesting. Um... Uh, the earth is 296 in Gematria, Haaretz, right here, and it has factors of 8 times 37. 37 is the star number. Um, if we express that as a rectangle, the circumference happens to be 86. 8 rows of 37, the, out, the circumference around it is 86, which is Elohim, um, just right here. This is Adonai Elohim, 112, but just Elohim, the first word of God, the first mention of of God in the Bible is as Elohim, the plural, the Trinity. Anyway, that's interesting, I thought. And then I showed you this before, but it's quite simple. Just take the number of letters in Matthew 20 and 5, which is 50, multiply it by the number value of Matthew 20 and 5, which is 6283. You get 314150. Okay, so, and this is the only verse in the whole Bible which has a word that equals 2701. It's the only word, likewise. Um, and 2701 is the very verse, first verse of the Bible, Genesis 1-1. So there we go. On to the next one. I looked for 2368 in the Bible, and I, that's Jesus' name, Jesus plus Christ. Um, and right here it says, I am as one mocked of his neighbor who calleth upon God, and he answereth him. The just upright man is laughed to scorn, like Jesus was ridiculed. The Lord hath heard my supplication, the Lord will receive my prayer. Once again, Psalms. Yea, in heart ye work wickedness, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. I, I can't remember who that's referring to. It's probably to sinners. Here, Proverbs 2 and 3 um, is a good one. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and lifteth up thy voice, liftest up thy voice for understanding, then you'll find out that Jesus Christ is hidden as a code mathematically. If you take that advice of Proverbs 2 and 3, and then the sower so at the word, and Jesus was the word, the Logos. <clears throat> anyway, once again, 2 John 1, 6, 2, 16, and this is love. Everyone says, well, God is love, but that doesn't mean what you think it means. The Bible gives a definition of love, and this is it, that we walk after his commandments. Love does not mean doing whatever you want out of your own heart. The Bible, according to the Bible's definition, it means that we have to walk after His commandments. Okay. Thank you, Jim Brown, for showing us that. Now, here's the thing about grace. For by grace are ye saved through faith, 
and, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. So even grace isn't even of yourself is what it's saying. Predestination is what gives you grace. Okay. All right. Here's an interesting one. Um, in the first verse of the Bible right here, Breshit bara Elohim et ha is 2701. But if you look at here, all the olives in it, um, First of all, if you add up the position of all the olives in it, so then the third spot and then the ninth spot, see right here, bet resh olive, shin yud tough bet resh olive. So anyway, the third plus the ninth plus the tenth plus the fifteenth, etc., is 86, which is once again Elohim, our God, right here, Elohim, 86. And now, add up the factors of those olives, you get 439. So... 439 is the 86th prime number. I think that's more than a coincidence. God is real and this is how he hides his codes. Okay. Um, anyway, so let's look more into the first verse. So it's 913, 203, 86, 401, 395, 407, and 296. That is the first verse of the whole Bible. Put them all together as one stream of digits. And you get 0386 right here. Um, which is the Hebrew value of Je Yeshua, or Jesus, in Hebrew. Now, now put um, the same words together, but in descending order. So instead of 913203, put 139 and 023, so the smallest number first instead. And then combine together, you get it 2368 again, which is Jesus Christos, Jesus Christ. So, once again, Jesus is hidden in the first verse of the Bible. It's constant. It's never-ending. Last thing is uh, something I discovered. Um, everything in green was the other guy, um, but I did those first verses. Anyway, look at this. I found the first group of seven sevens in pi, and look how many 37s there are. One, including 137 right there. Two, three, four. There's four thirty seven surrounding the first seven sevens, seven sevens in Pi. So that's not only pointing to the four and seven, which is the judgment and the baptism, which constantly comes up in the Bible, but it shows the star number referring back to seven. Okay? And 137 right here is light, as we know. Um, the d diameter of a circle that's 137.5 has a circumference of 432. Square 432, you get the speed of light. So 137 is like a fractal of the speed of light. Anyway, um, y'all have a good one.